Hey everyone, Scott here from Simple Mechanic Advice. Today we are going to talk about why you are receiving an engine code P0507, the likely symptoms, and what you can do about it. Essentially, a P0507 code means your car's idle air control system has an abnormally higher RPM than expected. To explain further, the engine control unit, ECU, must maintain a suitable RPM range which can vary depending on the vehicle model. If it goes anywhere above its standard rate, the P0507 code is triggered. Common symptoms of the P0507 code Illuminated check engine light Rough or unstable idling Subtle increased fuel consumption Stalling frequently in idle mode High idle speed Causes of the P0507 code Dirty or malfunctioning idle air control valve the idle air control system valves could be clogged with carbon buildup over time. They could also be faulty or damaged. Vacuum leaks. A vacuum leak can throw off the air fuel ratio, triggering the P0507 code from your car due to the high idle. Damaged throttle body. If your throttle body is damaged or misadjusted, it will have irregularities. Also, if it is dirty, the P0507 code will come up. Malfunctioning EVAP system. Your EVAP system has various components, including the fuel tank, hoses, gas cap, and canister. Leaks in any of these parts will cause high RPMs. Diagnosis and repair process for the P0507 code. Use an OBD2 onboard diagnostics scanner to check for the code by connecting it to your car's diagnostic link connector, DLC port. Inspect the valves to ensure they open and close properly. Also clean them by spraying carbon cleaner into them to remove the gunk. Visually check the vacuum hoses and related connections for mechanical or electrical damage. You can also use a smoke machine to listen for hissing from the hood. Get a mechanic to repair the leaks if detected. Physically inspect the throttle body for damage and employ a professional mechanic to fix or replace it. If dirty, clean it with a throttle cleaner a towel, and a soft brush. However, before cleaning, take safety precautions and wear gloves and goggles. Lastly, inspect all the EVAP components for broken hoses or cracks, then replace or repair the affected parts. Thanks for watching.